My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Monster Train. Now, back in the Friends and Foes update, or was it the update prior to that? Gosh, it may have been the update prior to that, but they included uh, expert challenges, which I need to finish working my way through. Uh, we have at your service, start with two, uh, sorry, two additional train stewards and an advanced prototype. And we also start with Tithes, so we earn half of the income. This is the Stewardship Challenge. They all have to be done on Covenant 25. Uh, I've decided that because we have units in the base deck that have Multi-Strike on them, and one of the things that is going to be particularly effective here, I feel, uh, is Overstacking, that the best two clans that I can choose for this are Hellhorned and Awoken. Because with the multi-strike, you want to capitalize on uh, enhancements and buffs that increase the damage of the character. So, raise a sharp edge. Maybe root seeds. Uh, or rage from the Hellhorn. But also on top of that, we've got the Hornbreaker Prince. And we've got a Woken. So, we may have a Wrathful Hornbreaker Prince with Spike in the front line that can actually become an armor tank. We're ideally looking for an armor tank in the front line and then just stewards behind it. Let's see how well that goes. For each of these challenges, I am going to try and draft uh, the right characters that I think might be able to accomplish it. Double vent, single raid serum, double wildwood sap. Don't care about the wildwood saps, but the other two, very, very pleased to see. At the start of battle, summon four random units from your deck to the middle floor. Just four of our shiny stewards get played. Yes. There's our Wrathful. Now we're looking for access to spikes. Number percent of units enter with... I don't care. I'm taking it. Gives us less money, but... Uh, yeah, with that... With that midline summon, I felt pretty confident. Right, we'll give Wander all of the buffs here. Don't say I never did anything for you, Wander. Um, more buffs. More buffs! Perfect. Oh my god, this will even work there. Oh, it's excellent. Get him, Wanda. Oh, Wanda wasn't even the one to get the kill. Uh, but... Fortify Ritual of Battle and Vent. Ritual of Battle has place in this deck, certainly. Glimmer, Wildwood Sap, and Edge Prior. If I didn't already have the two vents in the deck, I'd be ultra click in that glimmer right there but I do have that so I won't do that mm. spell upgrades matter a lot right now obviously any reduction of costs on the ritual of battle is great and there's a couple cards that could be tried to get some or rather that the sketch of the salvation could try and summon from the hellhorns set that would be really good I mean that's one of them Sure. Good old friend. Ooh. Uh, yep. That that's just a yep right there. Play that on any multi-striking unit, and you'll be pretty happy with it. We're probably gonna take an energy. I know! I know! Isn't it weird? We're actually probably gonna take an energy here. Uh, start of battle, ending in superior on each floor. Okay, so I'll end up taking, what, six damage to this? Six? Nine. Nine will take nine damage to this? That's not that bad. Now we will take six damage to this. <laughs> and it's still not that bad. Nice. Alright. 
for no reason in particular, I'm going to give the buffs to this one. All right, fine. The backliner can take that buff. Just seems like it's going to live longer. Got him. Okay, with this victory, we get a little bit more money again. Another ritual battle, really. Is that actually what we're going to do here? Gosh, the cost, though. Cost though. I don't think I can take it. Like, if anything, I end up just duping the first one. None of those either. What we're currently missing is scaling defense. It's going to be really hard to find that. Do I really want to go and dupe immediately the uh, Ritual Battle with the double upgrade on it? Yes. I'll do it before the vent. Uh, rather, before the concealed caverns. Wilting sapwood. Well, that's actually intriguing. Sure. <laughs> very, very happy to see it, I guess. Stygian, Umbra, Melting Remnant. Stygian and Umbra both won't re really contribute to this run. Bonus tap. It's a cheaper multi strike. Should I need it? Probably gonna end up permafrosting something like that. Alright, Talos. Enemy enters with rage two. Ideally, we kill as many of them on possible uh, as possible rather on the bottom floor. There's the Wilting Sapwood, not where I wanted to be. We need, uh, well, we're going to have difficulty kind of like reorganizing these at all, unfortunately, as well. While I would love to vent this bottom floor, can I get away without playing a ritual battle there? It's so much damage, I can't ignore that. I mean, honestly, this floor could just thin down to the Wilting Zapwood in front of the Shiny Steward, and I'd be totally fine with that. Unfortunately, it does mean Wanda has to die, but sacrifices must be made, Wanda. Getting pretty close. Uh, root seeds, root seeds. Can I just vent the bottom floor or do I? I don't need to wild blitz up yet. Sure, vent that. I'm happy to play out the furnace tap at this point. Because that unit's currently dealing 300 damage. I think, it, I think that 300 damage might be enough. Turns out it was enough. Oh, wow. We are a rage stacker, so this is our defensive. We we found our defense. My god. Uh, that, that's, that is to say we found our defensive scaling. Do I take another demon friend? Really? They're not a multi-strike, but they do have more defense. I'm probably going to end up cutting a couple train stewards. March of Shields is what I need. I need the card March of Shields. Take another demon front? Really? <sighs> yes. I know. I know. Sacrilegious. But we had to. Please, quick. Thank heck. 
Do I really just want a random shiny suit to be quick? Okay. Spikes on the wilt uh, wilting sapwood feels good, but it's also not really. If... Rage and quick on it. <laughs> I feel really unsettled about what I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm gonna pass without taking the spikes then. I think this needs to be a brawler if I'm ever gonna get kills with it. I have like three different strategies running in the second the moment and they're all running counter to one another so I'm a bit scared taking the random artifact because I feel scared effectively. It's totally fine. I was worried this was going to happen this early. I don't want to use the adaptive mutation yet. The longer I don't use it, the less likely we are to ever be able to use it. Because the shiny steward is going to hit enemies and it's going to take damage equal to their thorns. Yeah, see? Eight, it had 13 health before. It would have died very quickly. Okay. We're kind of using that as, like, our only real unit right now. So I should focus a lot of upgrades and buffs into it. give it regen pretty happily as well though okay there's the extra multi-strike too Seeds and then just vent. Best I can do. Look, if we took 22 damage for an artifact there, an artifact that gives friendly units entering with rage three, that matters. Tiresome climb. The ability to try and get a unit out of that floor, put it behind someone else on a different floor, or a rage serum. I was trying to do overstack stats, but uh, over overstack strats, but. Coming with days two makes them real hard. It's another adaptive mutation. Fine. Fine. It's Merchants of Steel that we need to focus on still, right? Large stone is completely fine to go on someone. I mean, Wilting Sapwood doesn't uh, feel too bad about having a large stone. Hell. At plus 25 health. I'd even dare say it seems good. With two demon friends and two shiny stewards. Like, we, we've got too many shiny stewards here. We need to remove. Because we're looking for special units as well as a shiny steward to be played on the middle floor. Okay. Get back into the battles. It's just skewing that in that direction. Novel enemy units gain six additional damage. Uh... I want the money. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you. 
Uh, as long as we manage to kill the frontliners with things like torches and vents, we should be okay here. Wait, you've already got the buff and you're quick. Okay. Now what we're going to be looking for is, yeah, stack rage, use the adapting mutation furnace tap, I believe. Just lock in some early stats on it, I think. I've got another adaptive mutation in here. I've got, got more that I can do. Even more regen. Ah, ah, ah. Buff and rage and vent and pass. I love the champions just up here like, eh, look, if you need me at any point, I'll be down. But I will not be powerful by then. There's the extra adaptive mutation, and we are officially set. And that's a got him. Well done. Now take a little bit of extra money there. March of shield, 100%. Engraft, preserved thorns, and wildwood. Definitely not the wildwood custodian. Uh, Engraft, preserved thorns. Hard pass on those as well. Preserved thorns, maybe though. Preserved thorns. Especially because we're not going for draw. It's going to be really hard to take a merchant trinkets here, I think. Last one per stack of spikes. Not really going to be super common for us, so we actually get to exploit that. Duping a card here actually feels like we just dupe an adaptive uh, mutation. Like, when do we lose when we don't draw adaptive mutation in time? Is there anything I'm truly ignoring here? Hmm. Not that I know, but then again, <laughs> that's how that works, right? You wouldn't know. Not really getting any rage off yet. Yes, that's such a tiny buff. I'm not even gonna do it. Not even gonna bother with it. Let's take the sting on the bottom line, just so that I don't have to take a uh, trash on my next hand. I'll block on the front line as best I can. Get a shiny suit up the top. I guess it's just sting, sting, root seeds. Pass. Love a good vent in this bottom line right now. Just love it. Uh, can't afford to get that shiny suit down, so we'll keep buffing the stats to the exact same one. We get three energy next turn to kind of balance out the furnace tap a little bit, but if, if I don't do that next turn, I have Ritual of Battle and Mal Adaptive Mutation. Maladaptive Mutation. Yeah, I'm just going to rename the cards. Hang on for a second. While I go do that. Thank you for the energy. Should be pretty simple to... Yep. Got him again. Now it's not on the quick one, but 
It still ought to be good enough. Oh my god. Get that health. Yeah, this is over. Nice try on this floor, but uh, you're just a little bit short. Awoken Rail Spike is... Channel Song is ridiculous as well, actually, though, because it summons one with a double buff with a 2020. So Awoken Rail Spike is great if it hits Ritual Battle, Root Seeds, Root Seeds, Root Seeds, Root Seeds. Cast with extra energy a lot of the time. Probably going to double, uh, double remove from it. Sometimes it's cast with Wilting Sapwood. Sorry. Wilting Sapwood's the, the clincher there. It has to be that. And then it's energy again. A double removal oval on this side. However, the Merchant Trinket still definitely doesn't hold anything we can use. And the Awoken Rail Spike can be double cost reduced over here. We could also double stack the Furnace Tap if we desperately wanted to. It's an extra multi-strike. That means a lot. That means a lot. Okay, doing that. However, I'm going Awoken Rail Spike to plus one, reroll. I'm going to hit another plus one on it. I want to hard cast it the first time I draw it. I'm very happy to use a Monster Rail Spike here and purge just a different steward out of the deck. Trying to confirm my middle floor a little bit here. Upgrade the champion. I I feel like this unit doesn't at all anymore. Let's give it the ability to gain extra armor. I mean, it'll benefit from the light wings sometimes. Number percent unit sent with spikes five. Hundred percent fine by me, and I want the money. Okay. Well, a pretty exciting turn. Wildwood Sap on the bottom line. Hornbreak on the top. Awoken. Mm. All is well. We have our quick shiny steward here in the back line as well. It uses as many buffs as it can get. This one comes in with extra rage. Why has this got giant stats? Can I buff another trains? What? What? Why are you a 30 33? I. Huh? I didn't... I didn't buff you to that. What happened? I mean, fine and thank you, but also what? And huh? And I pardon? Ritual? Ritual, furnace tap, and they're just... Because I don't even need the... Oh, wait, no, I do need that. The adaptive mutation, otherwise I start that. Oh my god, I can do both! I have eight Ember Drain, and I still, still manage to cast here. It's a thing of beauty. And I'm getting energy back while I'm doing it as well because they're dying in a whirlwind. Oh my god. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> oh, 
this is why it was so important I had quick on one of them so that the damage wasn't going to be overwhelming at me. Oh my god. So that it wouldn't overwhelm rather my frontliners that use the... the, 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 the you know, the, look, I don't... I don't need to make sense right now. We just enjoy this. Senses for later. Got him. Out. Fair and square on 200. <sighs> Another March of Shields. Do I need two? I don't need two. Pyre Chomper? I don't actually need extra energy that way. Impish Scholar brings back an adaptive mutation or a furnace tap. I wouldn't play the Preserve Thorns before it. It could bring back a Rage Serum. Could bring back Wildwood Sap. Obviously could bring back, you know, Furnace, Adaptive, Woken. Fine. Pie Shards is exactly what I've been looking for this entire time. Just to put on the Hornbreaker Prince. Uh, I'll take it. I'm probably going to be disappointed by it. It might have even been Unleash the Wildwood Sap that I should have taken there. And I'm going to feel bad if that is the case. Double removal over the side. Yep. Okay. Good Merchant Trinkets just in case. Both of those relics are incredible there. Endless Rage. Don't care. So for the double removal, I'm thinking like the other two Rage Stewards that are not buffed. That Impish Scholar is going to try and get summoned to the battlefield and I'm going to be real sad about it. I have to remove it. I'm removing the two shiny stewards there. I'm going to purge the Impish Scholar. I can't believe I did this to myself. So the reason for this is because Demon Friend, Demon Friend, shiny steward, Wilting Sapwood, we use the March of Shields to make sure that the uh, Wilting Sapwood goes out front eventually in the middle floor and then we just go ham it could be another furnace tap they're really difficult to play after the first one, though. And the quick unit is going to prevent the Wilting Sapwood from being able to be played that many times. It might be Awoken. Decrease the cost of a bunch of things in the deck. If nothing else, this provides extra draw. I think at this point, I'm literally just looking for health to put on the demon friends. I mean, that'll do. All right, Seraph, what are you going to do against this? What do you plan to do against this? Go root C. Hey, it's Wanda this time as well. Hell yeah, Wanda. All right, we just get back the same health that we used to kill it. Got it. Too close from dying. Too dying, rather. Okay. There's the two Awokens. 
of the rail spiked variety. I can't play Furnace Tap yet. I think I just have to play this for low value. Well, I mean, I can just torch first and then. All right, we got it. It's the March of Shields, puts you in the front line, and then we're completely fine. Like, beyond ability to take damage. In fact, I'm gonna damage you intentionally so that I get the Ritual of Battle out this turn. Give you more regen, because it's kind of your lifeblood right now. I'll even damage you one more time so that I can play the Vent. And then I'm gonna work in Rail Spike just for two draw. Nice! Five shards goes on the top floor, and then... Pew, pew, pew. Okay. Let's get adaptive two times over. Got one more left in the deck as well. Sure to get the furnace tap out there. March of Shields also wants to move the uh, demon friend forward at this point. I just want the shiny steward to be at the very, very back. So I'm going to miss out on some energy here, but worth. And again, worth. We've still got five Ember Drain. So we'll have one energy next turn. Well, we could have had one energy this turn, as it turns out. Uh, let's march of shields you forward. I'm going to hit you. So I can use original battle. Uh, battle, rather. And... We can watch Wanda collect this kill. Well done, bud. You truly hard carried us through the run. And that is stewardship. Pretty much called our shots on that one for everything except for the Wrathful Prince being useful. Sketches of Salvation obviously really, really, really helped out there. Uh, smoothing the early curves. It took me the time to get powerful and get my kind of real build together. Um, I don't know if the run summary is going to be worth anything here. Yeah, I can't even, can't even generate a challenge based on it. I'll generate a shareable challenge for this run. Okay. I can. Uh, I don't know how much use these will be of though, but, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to have that at the very top of the description down below. For the moment though, my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Monster Train. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you for the next challenge next time.